Europe has developed its first satellite navigation system. Known as EGNOS, the European Geostationary Navigation Overlay Service, it provides highly accurate and reliable new ways to guide landing aircraft, navigate ships, track road vehicles, and much more. EGNOS is a joint initiative from the European Space Agency, the European Commission, and Eurocontrol, the European Organization for Air Navigation Safety. It uses data from GPS satellites, enhancing it to give unprecedented levels of accuracy. Farming is one area which already benefits hugely from the new European system. Precision agriculture is more productive and reduces environmental impact, but has traditionally been expensive to implement. EGNOS is set to change this by providing a free service to farmers, which increases the reliability and accuracy of existing GPS systems. For many applications, like a fertilizer application, pesticide application, and all uh, very large uh, scale application, EGNOS uh, has a sufficient precision in agriculture. EGNOS gives an accuracy of one to two meters, compared with five to 10 meters accuracy using GPS alone. It achieves this by using around 30 monitoring stations positioned in over 20 countries. These stations take readings from GPS satellites and make corrections taking into account phenomena such as electrical fluctuations in the Earth's atmosphere. The enhanced data is then uplinked to three fixed point or geostationary European satellites, which transmit this data to users back on the ground. A guaranteed high level of positioning accuracy means that farmers can treat soil and crops in a site-specific manner, ensuring that optimal doses of chemicals are applied to the right places. This is known as variable rate application. Without EGNOS, precision spraying systems simply can't be accurate enough to allow for small changes in crops across an area of farmland. Enhanced navigational data means increased efficiency. The margins of a field are mapped, they are in the computer, the spraying computer, and as soon as a part of the boom goes over the margins, it stops spraying. But that can reduce the emissions of pesticides for a great extent. Uh, and the other thing is, of course, the reduction by variable rate application, where we can reduce again 20-25% of the use of pesticides. And reduced use will mean reduced emission. When fitted with an EGNOS receiver, Farm machinery can receive safe, real-time steering guidance. Farmers can operate for longer periods of time, increasing yield. EGNOS as an add-on technology augments GPS and as such enables the steering capability. Driver fatigue will be reduced because the farmer does not have to steer the tractor by himself anymore. EGNOS equipment can also be fitted to animals, allowing them to be tracked and delivering a stimulus if they attempt to stray beyond the boundaries of a virtual fence. And the system's high degree of accuracy means that specific parcels of land can be given unique identifier codes, which can be barcoded onto produce, helping consumers and food regulators to trace its precise origins. By using EGNOS, farmers can increase the accuracy of field measurement and boundary mapping. As the farming economy is based on land mass, this makes costing and crop rotation more efficient. As the EGNOS signal is subscription free, any farmer equipped with a receiving device can now perform precision agriculture, an advance which will have considerable financial impact in the coming years. It is true that when you do uh, an economy of pesticide or fertilizer, automatically you have a benefit for the environment. This system in the future will meet a great success. Designed and developed using European contractors, EGNOS is already available and operational throughout Europe. Soon it will be certified for life critical services, such as landing aircraft. EGNOS is Europe's first step in satellite navigation, paving the way for Galileo, an extensive network of European positioning satellites and ground support currently in deployment. This means that positioning will no longer be solely reliant on the American GPS system. Soon Europe will have autonomy to provide guaranteed, highly accurate navigational data for a whole host of applications, with major implications for safety, productivity 
and the economy.